Hey, Stephen Lauren, more than 75,000 people work in that sector, which has seen tremendous growth over the past five years. The goal now is to maintain the momentum. We can do that testing for them to make sure that it meets the specifications that are required. KBI Biopharma President and CEO J.D. Maui giving us a tour of their Patriot Park facility, one of three in North Carolina. If you have an idea for a drug, you, you come to us and, and we help you take that and develop the process that's necessary to manufacture that drug. Maui highlighted local talent as a key reason why this region has seen such tremendous growth. A report from the Brookings Institute found between 2020 and 2022, life sciences companies committed to invest over $9 billion dollars and create 12,500 new jobs statewide. The industry has uh, over 800 companies um, employing um, 75,000 workers um, at an annual salary of uh, $112,000. So Laura Gunter is president of the NC Life Sciences Organization, a trade association involved in advocacy. So there's a lot of collaboration. You know, what does industry need? What are the services that these universities and then some of the training facilities like the community colleges are providing? and making sure that we're in sync. Between 2018 and 2021, Teconomy reports the industry saw a 13% jump in employment in the state, third fastest nationally. Still, opportunities for expansion exist. Venture companies are often more comfortable putting money into the program that's down the street instead of you know, a few states away. Um, so that is something that we are working on as well, because I think that's kind of one of the probably pieces that we, we most need is just more dollars coming into the state. As that work continues, there are positive signs for the industry at large. You know, we're starting to see more IPOs being filed. Um, we're seeing uh, more investments being made in the life sciences sector. Maori says their portfolio is about 70% in the oncology space. They work with companies of all different sizes. Steve Lorna can take as long as a decade for a drug to go from inception to commercialization. Maori notes the overwhelming majority never reached that final stage. Mm. In Durham, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.